Should you learn WordPress in 2020? What's up, everyone? My name is Taylor, and this is Coding for Tacos, a channel where I'm going to be talking about web development, learning to code, and freelancing, specifically freelancing remotely, because that has always been my goal uh, ever since I started learning to code. Uh, my, I, I wanted to be able to work remotely. So stick around. Today we're talking about WordPress and what you should think of WordPress moving into 2020. If you're learning to code now, is it worth it? Do you want to learn WordPress? Got to have that 2020 vision, right? <laughs> so let's get into it. And how much you pay for that taco? When I was learning to code, I felt this way, and I've talked to a lot of people learning to code, and I can tell they also feel this way about WordPress. There's so much information out there, um, and it's kind of confusing, right? A lot of people will tell people learning to code, not to learn WordPress, not to think about WordPress. Um, it's, and most of those people I have found don't know a lot about WordPress. But I will say this, if you want to learn to code and get a job as fast as possible, or if you want to learn to code and uh, get a job at a startup or one of the, the big companies like Google or Facebook or Amazon, um, then yeah, don't learn WordPress. Focus on the code, um, do your thing. Free Code Camp is an excellent place to learn um, and yeah, choose, choose your path, stick with it, get really good at whatever the programming language is that you start with. Great. But if you are interested at all in freelancing or you want to work at kind of a smaller web development agency, um, WordPress is definitely for you. I would highly recommend it. Like I said, even if you have any hope at all of freelancing, um, or if you would like to earn a little bit of income as you're teaching yourself to code, then absolutely. I totally think you should learn WordPress in 2020, and I'm going to try to convince you of that and, and tell you why. Now, a lot of people uh, make a video about this every year, or maybe they write a blog post, uh, but this year I thought I would weigh in and, and uh, give my opinion on WordPress moving, moving forward. Uh, simply because over the past six months I've been working as a freelance WordPress developer and uh, I've been learning to code for almost exactly two years now and really the switch to full-time freelance web development could have happened so much earlier for me. I spent over a year learning to code before I even really seriously considered WordPress development or even thought about what a great tool WordPress can be for freelancers and small agencies. So that's a little bit of my background. Like I said, I've been doing WordPress development now, uh, more or less full-time for about six months now. Obviously, I've become a big fan. Obviously, I don't have a script written out here, but there are two main points I'd like to make. The first one is that WordPress is an excellent tool for freelancers and for agencies like I've said before and the second point I'd like to make is that at least in my opinion WordPress is like the ultimate web development sandbox for people learning to code it's a great playground it provides you a somewhat uh, safe environment to learn about so many technologies finally the good stuff so why is WordPress such a good tool and that's what it is, it's a tool. Obviously, WordPress can't be the best tool for every situation, but there are a surprising number of cases where WordPress really is the best tool, at least in my opinion. I'll give you a simple example. Imagine the local flower shop owner comes to you and says, I want a website. This is good, right? This, this is what you want. <laughs> so you, if you really think about it, you could have a beautiful website set up in under one day for this client, depending on, of course, on their budget and how picky they are. But if they just want something that looks nice, helps people find their business, and maybe even sells some things online, under one day, easily. 
You Google, you say flower shop theme WordPress. For under a hundred bucks, you can find a beautiful theme. It's probably built in, uh, ready to go. So you get your Google Maps API key, which is very simple. You set it up with the flower shop's location. Um, maybe they want to sell things. So you set up WooCommerce with their uh, some pictures of the products they want to sell. And that's it. Maybe you add a contact page, add some pictures or something. Um, but in under one day, you can provide this client with a ton of value. And best of all, with WordPress, because the WordPress documentation is very good, um, and, and even without that, you can make a small instruction manual and, and hand it off to your client and say, if you want to change a product or add a blog post, this is how you do it within WordPress. Clients will be able to take care of some things if they want to, if you want to hand off the project rather than having it be a continuous thing. That was a very simple example, but WordPress, and, and you have to always think about clients' budgets, but WordPress can allow you to set up an e-commerce store, a membership site, you could build a course and sell it online. There are really tons and tons of use cases for WordPress. I guess what I'm trying to say is, for myself as an individual person and for small agencies and businesses, WordPress really allows me and, and others to provide a lot of value depending on what kind of budget the client has. Another criticism that I've heard about WordPress in the developer community is a lot of people say, oh yeah, well, WordPress developers, they just use page builders and, and WordPress isn't all that customizable. You're very limited. And at least from my point of view, that's definitely incorrect. Um, I don't think they're, they're trying to say anything wrong, uh, but maybe they don't know much about WordPress or um, maybe they're just working on a totally different side of web development and that's fine. But like I said, for me, WordPress was the ultimate sandbox, the ultimate playground for me to learn how to code. If you're working with theme development, that means that you're going to be using CSS to build the theme, obviously HTML, CSS, maybe Bootstrap, maybe SAS. You're going to be using probably jQuery or maybe some JavaScript, um, if, uh, vanilla JavaScript if you'd like. Then you're going to need to learn some PHP. You're going to need to learn some a little bit about databases. And that's just for a simple theme. Word, WordPress can really get very complex. You know, you can connect to other databases. You can learn about a, a multitude of things related to web development. And I guess here I'm getting into the future of WordPress a little bit, but now with the WordPress REST API, I personally feel like the options have the door has just been blown wide open for WordPress and WordPress will definitely stay relevant in the future. And what I'm talking about is headless WordPress, meaning that you would only use WordPress for the back end, for the data and the content management system. You'd still write your blog posts the same way, you'd still have pages and the WordPress dashboard would all be the same, but the front end can, can, of your website or application can be anything. It can be an app, it can be a React application, it can be a, a mobile application, an Angular or Vue app. So you build your, in this example, let's say you build a React app, you connect it to the WordPress REST API, and you pull in your blog posts. But the React application controls everything visual and everything on the client side related to this website. Anyways, this was a long video, but WordPress is very relevant. Something like 60% of all websites are built with traditional WordPress using PHP, and now headless WordPress is becoming more and more popular. WordPress is here to stay, and if you have any interest at all in freelancing, starting your own agency, or working for a small agency, I definitely think you should learn WordPress in 2020. WordPress is a very good way to start and make some side income to pay yourself as you're learning to code. That's all I have on the subject for today. 
Stick around and stay tuned for more information on WordPress, web development, freelancing, etc. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought of the video, and I hope to see you again soon. Peace.